What's up? How are you guys today? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and we have a bunch of new products to show you guys today, including what I'm wearing, but we'll touch on that later. And I would say this first one is the most significant product that we've launched because of the popularity of these collagen supplements. So we have a pure, natural, organic collagen broth made with bottled spring water. And you guys know I've made two videos in the past on how much I hate collagen supplements because think about it, how do you get you know, collagen from a butchered animal into a white powder? A very extensive chemical and heating process and there is little to no benefit of these collagen supplements, but it's actually crazy. They have like collagen water in Whole Foods right now. It's basically agrochemical waste and they've convinced you it's healthy. So collagen powder is not a fan of, but this really just pure beef broth and very gelatinous as you guys could see. A lot of collagen in there. And at the end of those two videos I made, I would say at the end, hey, make your own collagen bone broth. And I was looking in the supermarkets and I realized that you know they don't add any preservatives or anything to their broths and they sit at room temperature for months and months and months. So this is gonna be available in a 16 ounce jar only on Frankie's freerangefoods.com. Guys, I'm sorry, we cannot sell this on the meat website. Some of you remember maybe last year we were selling some broth and if you put this jar with ice, it will completely shatter and break. So we're sending these at room temperature. It's perfectly fine. It's you know, non-perishable for at least a couple of weeks, probably two or three months. And you know, you could always just reboil it if you want to, if you're concerned about any of that stuff. But a lot of you guys have been ordering this and I haven't even announced it yet. So collagen broth, frankiestrangefoods.com. In addition to the collagen broth, we have the new flavored spice jerky that is available as well on frankiestrangefoods.com. The flavor is coriander thyme, a little bit of apple cider vinegar on there as well. Everything organic. We're gonna add a bit more spices next time. This is excellent, it's very delicious. It doesn't have as much seasoning as I'd like to. Because of that, I've kept the price the same as the plain jerky. So if you guys wanna try this, a nice subtle flavor, let me know how you like it, but next batch, I'm gonna add a little more spices to it. One thing I forgot to mention last week is we also have some pineapple water kefir. I mean, it doesn't matter. It looks the same as the regular water kefir, but we took $80 worth of organic pineapples I let them ripen, we juice them, and we mix it in the kefir. It's incredibly, incredibly delicious. And, you know, is that a great idea to do a product like that from a business profit standpoint? No, but I like it. It keeps me excited. You know, only a lunatic would put, you know, almost $100 worth of organic fruit juiced into a probiotic drink. But, you know, that's what I like to think separates us from what everyone else is doing. In addition to that pineapple kefir, we still have the lemon apple and some lime ginger left. I'm not that much of a fan of the lime ginger uh, because the ginger quality is so inconsistent. So maybe we might get rid of that, but either way, all of the flavors we have right now are very, very delicious. So definitely try them out if you haven't. So before I start complaining too much, I'll just take a quick look around and tell you guys what's going on. So it's uh, almost 1 p.m. Most of the orders are done. The guys got two pallets of orders in here and we have a bunch of post office orders over here. Nothing too crazy, just catching up on some stuff that was placed over the weekend. And I got my guys right now in the freezer doing the rest of the orders for this week. We don't have any new meat products this week. We just stocked up on some stuff that we were missing for you guys. Uh, the lamb testicles did not come in, but we have some goat left. I'm running low on some brains as well. I'll try to get some more of those for you guys. But, uh, the sweetbreads were very, very popular. And you know the pricing on the sweetbreads I was getting was kind of a fluke. So some of you guys are a little bit shocked when the new sweetbreads, which is about two pounds, is about $40. I'm gonna try to get some cheaper stuff, but um, guys, this is usually served as a delicacy in restaurants. So that's why the pricing is kind of high, but let me know what you guys think of that. Ran out of tenderloin last week. We do have that back in stock. Plenty of the Wagyu steak still. Uh, you guys bought all of the, the prime ribeye for the most part that I showed last week. Are you looking at the steak, buddy? We still have some... I'm losing my fucking mind. All right. Why, why, why should I be paying you extra for filming me? 
Oh, it wasn't a part of the job description. Oh, I see. So as with every week at Frankie's Strange Meat, there has to be something that causes the business to completely hemorrhage money. This week, it was a shipment from China getting held at customs. And, you know, I order some of the Wi-Fi shielding fabric from there. And for some reason this time, they slapped a $1,500 customs fee on top of it, which never happened before. So now I don't know what to do because I, I can't pay that otherwise. Uh, I'm not going to be making money on the product, so I'll see if I could just send it back and get the money back and just not have the product for a little while. But something bad always seems to happen. And uh, Con Edison sent me the latest electricity bill. So Con Edison ended up reaching out to me via email because I filed a complaint. I think it was called like the New York State Commission of something. But anyway, they oversee the electrical services. And then my electrical bill was coincidentally $1,000 lower. So now Con Edison is only charging me $1,000 per month, which is still way too high and unreasonable based on some other spaces I've seen. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not too optimistic about it. They already owe me you know, $15,000 in back electric bills, but it's really just fiasco after fiasco. Uh, we don't really have anything new going on with organ supplements last week. Uh, we got you guys the new zinc picolinate. And since we are out of the lamb testicles, I keep telling you guys, you can buy the freeze-dried beef testicle powder on organsupplements.com if you need your testosterone boost. Wi-Fi shielding, this is the new format for the winter clothing that we're going to have. It's going to be all black, though, instead of this. Just like nice long sleeve, not too heavy, not too light. It should be done, I would say, within two weeks, and we're going to have it for you guys. But, you know, since it's... It's so much of this very expensive silver fabric. I'm imagining, you know, the t-shirt and pants are gonna be over $100 each. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I have been feeling a lot better because, yeah, it's important to protect, you know, your organs and your reproductive system with the t-shirt and underwear, but when you have the full arm and full leg coverage, it's really a lot less oxidative stress to all of the tissues in your body. So, I mean, I'll probably be wearing this all year round in the summer, Wh whatever the weather is, full body coverage is what I'm doing. You know, I should really be wearing like the hats and the masks and the, the hood in my car more. It, it just, it is a little inconvenient, but you know, we do have these very nice flex fit hats, all different sizes with the, the silver fabric lining the middle, nice loose fit. So even if you get, you know, headaches from a slight tension on your head, you know, we have all sizes to fit. We're going to get uh, the Ethernet adapters back in stock as well on Wi-Fi shielding, but that's really it. I think I mentioned the meat granola as well as some apple macadamia bars I wanted to make a couple of weeks ago. Haven't been on that yet. Maybe we can do it this week. Uh, I just need to get that meat grinder working. And yeah, I could have used it as is, but I wanted to replace a part on it. And when I started taking you know, the screws out and stuff, I didn't realize how old and rusted the machine was. And I had to like dremel a bunch of screws off. Complete nightmare. So. I'm going to bring the grinder to a guy that kind of refurbishes that equipment and have him fix it up a little bit just so it's running okay and it's, you know, probably not needed, but I, I still got the machine for way, way, way cheaper than it would be new. So hopefully in two weeks we can have that meat granola back for you guys as well as some new uh, bars available. But I think that's everything. If you guys missed the video last Thursday, we showed you all 13 steaks we have on Frankie's Free Range Meat. Pretty good showcase. And maybe I'll do another video soon on, on the other cuts we have. Maybe, maybe not. Marrow bones are back in stock. Beef fat is back in stock. We did run out of lamb fat, and I think we ran, just ran out of pecani too. So I'm trying to keep stuff in for you guys, but you know, some, some weeks you guys buy a lot of one thing, some, some another thing, and usually my vendors don't have everything consistently. But thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell So they don't notify you of my videos Therefore you can go to frank stefanocom to support me through all of my businesses Hopefully before I completely lose my mind we can get out of this hellhole of facility and start cutting up some animals so that uh, I can actually make some money